everyone. Shalom. Ciao. Namaste. I am Ilana aka Elmar Superstar and welcome to my channel. I am super duper stoked to be showing you this collection today. It will be immediate nostalgia for any 90s kid. I'm talking about the Morphe X Lisa Frank collaboration. For those of you that don't know who Lisa Frank is, her unique and vibrant multicolor animal prints were such a staple of the 90s through stickers and school supplies. I must have had like 50 sheets or more of the Lisa Frank stickers. The collection released in November 2020, but it did come with its share of backlash considering that Lisa Frank had originally been in another deal with a brand called Glamour Dolls to create a makeup line. And I know that over the years she has done clothing and makeup for such brands as Ipsy and Hot Topic. Another reason people were annoyed was because the Morphe Lisa Frank 35B palette is very similar to the 35B artistry palette that Morphe discontinued. And I can definitely see the similarity. Today I am going to be reviewing the Morphe X Lisa Frank 35B palette as well as the newly released lip crayon. So there's three different selections when you purchase this palette. I chose Forest because it is the most synonymous symbol of Lisa Frank and I love that it's named after her son who is now running her social media. Immediately I love that this palette has a magnetic pullback when opening it and oh my gosh look at the inside and just like any Lisa Frank notebook it has the please put your name here which I realized I forgot to do. I just love this color scheme. It's very fun and flirty and will definitely appeal to a younger demographic. I know when I showed it to my nieces, they went absolutely insane. And I love how there are shades named after both Lisa Frank's sons, Hunter and Forrest. And I'm actually wearing shades from the palette today. For my lash lid, I have the Priscilla shade, for the crease, Rainbow Majesty, and for the eyebrow line, Rory. Let's swatch it out and see what we get. I really love the shimmers in this palette. They give me ideas for many different looks that I would like to do, especially the shades I'm wearing today, which are Rory, Priscilla, and Rainbow Majesty. I also love the peekaboo and spotty and dotty shades. Very, very cute. By far, this is the most I've ever swatched. It is a 35 pan palette and I swatched it the entire thing. As you can see, some colors read easier, but I feel like they all are really popping and this would be really fun for a flirty look or some kind of festival look. When the collection first released, there was only the eyeshadow palette, the blender sponges, and the makeup brushes, which the whole collection is totally fierce, but I just wasn't gravitating towards the sponges and the brushes maybe one day, but I really did gravitate towards the lipstick crayons. So here are the lipstick crayon trios. They just released about a month ago. This one is Play Playful and this one is Play Neutral. Obviously, I love the packaging on this one because it has two golden retrievers. And if you don't know me, I have an adorable golden retriever named Chagger. This one is Play It Playful. I'm actually wearing the Slumber Party shade from it today. And I love the little logo of the kitties. It's so cute. Cute. Here are the swatches for the Lip Crayon Trios. For Play It Playful, we have Slumber Party, Pen Pal, and Dear Diary. And then for Play It Neutral, we have Kid at Heart, Lifetime Fan, and Friends Forever. These all have a very nice shine, and I feel like the Pen Pal and Dear Diary shades remind me a lot of the Revlon Ultra HD Lip Polish Lacquer. And I also really like the Kid Forever shade from the Neutral Collection, because that would be the only one that I would wear since I don't typically do neutral. I also love the color scheme for both trios. My only complaint is that they are practically sectioned on there, so much so that the Kid at Heart shade like completely broke off. Overall, I really like the Lisa Frank collaboration. I love that it is such a throwback for 90s kids, and it's a really unique way to introduce Lisa Frank to the next generation and the generation after that. Everything is available on Morphe's website as well as Ulta, and as always, both have afterpay. That is going to be it for today's segment. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next wave, all Martians. Bye.